Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Crown Jeremiah and I am the creative director of Crown Star Smart Creation. Welcome to another episode of Creative Design and today we will be designing a letter header. Do not forget to like, subscribe, share and also hit the notification button in order to notify you when I drop my next video. So stay tuned to the end of this video. So let's get started. Right now we are on Corel Draw. So I'm gonna create a new page. Go to File, New. We are going to name our file as OB Test and Sons Nigeria Limited. We are going to leave it at the custom preset and uh, the page size we're going to change it to a4 the width we're going to leave the width the way it is we're using inches for our design so i'm going to change it to inches the orientation we're going to leave it as portrait the resolution we're going to leave it for 300 so i'm going to hit ok so right now we are on the workspace of our corridor so what we need to do i have the resource file the resource files are not much so we'll be doing everything in corridor so i'm going to open the information the write-ups that we are going to be using for our design so i'll open the the information i have it on microsoft so this is the information we're going to be using we're going to be doing all our designs in corridor so let's get started this is ob test i'm going to copy the name of the company copy then go to Corel draw I'm gonna pick my test tool then drop it paste yeah we can maintain but later we can change the font yeah press hit ok so this is the name of the company I'm also going to the copy what the company is into so I'll copy this Come to Corel Draw 2, click on my test tool, then paste. I'll hit on the paste. So maintain. Right now we have the name of the company and also the what the company is into. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to break this information. Let's bring in our design, the design I did before, so that we can see what we are doing in corridor so i'm going to drag this design here good so this is what we are going to be doing here in corridor so right now i have my information on corridor so we are starting from scratch we're going to build a logo and also design the right up so i have this here i have the ob test I'm gonna break this by hitting enter on your keyboard I'm also gonna break this so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press ctrl K on my keyboard to break to, to break the test ctrl K so I have my tests separated the test is on the they are on a different line so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to change the font of Obites and Sons Nigeria Limited and I'll be using Century 724-725. So I'll be using this, a bold one. Good. So I have this. What I need to do now is to increase the font size of ob test i'm going to increase it and sons also with this i'm going to reduce this this so increase drag this up a bit so i have my ob test then i will drag to make it bigger good so i will change this to i'll be using avant guard enter on your keyboard so i have this font I'm going to reduce this to reduce good so what we need to do now is 
to create our logo we have to create our logo so let's do the logo so i'll be i'll select the free hand tool i'll be using the free hand tool to or to create that logo you're seeing here now so uh, when i click it what i need to do now okay before i click i have to drag a line you can drag a line here so that the shapes will be accurate so i'll drag this tool here also drag this here too so right now we are going to be creating this logo we're going to be creating this logo so what i need to do right now is select my free hand tool then start creating a line so when i click a line i will hold a control in order to maintain a straight line so i'll click control on my keyboard then click click again yeah then don't worry even if you're not getting it accurately you can also adjust when you finish then go up go down control so you have a straight line click go down control again click good so we have this shape so what we need to do now we have to drag this node here we're gonna drag it a bit down by holding your control good so we have this right now what we need to do to have the shape this very logo shape here see okay watch now this place is a bit slant so we're going to adjust the shape here so what i need to do is select my shape to click on the edge of this place drag it a bit down so we can have the lines on the same level so good watch here too so now we have the lines on the same level so i will have to reduce this very shape here in order to get a smaller shape inside this big one so i'll hold down shift and click the edge drag it down drag it down good so i have this right now on i have it inside the bigger one what i need to do now click on your shape to drag it up to have the same size what i mean the same size in between i mean this place here and here to be equal so right now i have this i have this my this looks like o we're trying to create a logo for obitus so this looks like o now we've gotten this i'm going to change my color let's be use black for now but we're going to change it later and the inside we're going to make it white don't worry about the color we can change later then we are going to be creating something like this this x here so ob text and sons so we're going to be creating that so i'll still come here drag my line here drag another line here then i'll start here boom hold down your control to get a straight line then click and good go now up by holding your control good so right now we have this that looks like x you can change the color you can also adjust the logo if you wish so what i'm going to do now is to adjust this to be on the same line with this so what i do now is go on back on your shape to select these two edges drag it back you can actually adjust your logo same thing i'm gonna do same here adjust So right now we have our logo i'm going to increase this a bit good so 
we have our logo we have the o and x so what we need to do now is to change the color of the logo so i am going to first of all i am going to trim out this very shape i want to have a single shape of this o here so i'll select this select this come to trim then trim it apart now i have my logo as a single logo here so i want to change the color what i need to do is click on my interactive fill tool you can see it here interactive fill tool then click on it drag it good now we have two colors on the interactive tool we have the white there and we have the black so what i need to do is to change the black to a lemon color just the way we have it here so click on the black box here on the interactive tool click on the black box here on the come to this place open this color so i'll be using this lemon here i'll be using this color then click boom here too i'll be using a lighter one a lighter color in case you see something like this if you want to change it to the previous color chart just the way it is here you can actually change it so here i'll be using this color good but i can decide to make this place darker so go back to this place so i'm going to change this color chart to this very one in order to allow me mix my color properly so here i can bring down click on this place come to my color charts here make this place a bit darker good you can see what is happening here then drag this down to get a nice gradient good i cannot equally change the color here come to my color chart can change it to something of this just to get a similar thing of the logo we have previously so something like this good as you can see we have a black outline on the logo and we don't want that so what I need to do is click on this come to this place and uh, right click on this when you right click it's gonna take off the white outline so I'm right clicking on this Wow so the white the black outline has gone off so what we need to do we don't need to start putting the colors the same color we have on the O on the X so what we need to do is to copy the property of the O and apply it on the X so what do we do we will now go to to edit I'm going to copy the property from so we're going to copy the property of the O we're going to copy the property of the O and apply it to the X so I'll copy the property I'm going to put the outline although there is no outline here so in case you have outline you can also include the outline so since we don't have the outline so we're going to do the fill what we have here is just a fill color so and i'll hit the ok so it will bring a arrow like this asking me which of the colors do i want to pick so what i do is click on this boom so this is what we have so we have our logo so and also i'll be adding a shadow a little shadow on this logo so i will group the logos i'm going to group the logo by hitting the ctrl g on your keyboard now our logo is grouped and i am going to be adding a shadow so this is our shadow so I'll click on the shadow here then click on our logo then drag it to the area which we want the shadow to fall or to come out so here i have my shadow under it so i'm going to reduce the opacity of my shadow and also i'm going to reduce the feathering of my shadow just reduce it to something unique you can do it to to shoot your design this is actually what i want 
now we have our logo here so i am going to reduce the logo bring it on top of uh, right up here then group everything here drag it down just drag it down you can put it at the corner so you can decide to try something you can decide to try your own design just do something creative reduce the shadow a bit reduce the opacity then maybe increase the feather so we have our shadow the shadow is there it might look invisible by the time you zoom you will see our shadow so we have the shadow here and we also have our ob test on black so we are going to reduce this here reduce good so we have our ob test on black and we have this we're going to change this to red so i'm just going to come here and hit the red good so we have our logo design and also we're going to do this we're going to be putting these colors at the edge so what do we do i am going to double click on this right angle the right angle too i'm going to double click it fine and what you do when you double click this what it does is creates a right angle to fit the page your workspace the page of where you're designing your stuff so i have this i'm going to drag this up here a drag now i have it dragged up here i am going to cuff this right angle in order to allow me edit or maybe change the shape what you need to do is convert it to curve so i'll come here you will see this here you will see this and i'll click on the convert here click on it by selecting your right angle to click group so right now it is already on curved what i need to do is come to my shape to double click on this edge in order to cut off this edge double click wow so this is what we have i'm going to come to this place and right click on this place so i want to make this place curved so i'll right click on this place then select the curve i'll hit the curve now so i have this so when i have this i can actually drag this inside hold and drag hold on your your left click i mean then drag it in drag it in drag it in yep so we have this so you can design your you can design something like this you can also design your own i have this shape right now on it and secondly i want to get the color of this logo i want my my design to be uniform so what i need to do is come to that edit by selecting this shape come to edit copy property from i'm going to be copying the property from our logo so copy okay so hit the okay and boom so if you watch it has a black outline and i don't want that black outline so i'm going to right click on this very color it shows that no color yeah so i have this my shape here and i want if you watch here you can see a a faint lemon color here so how do we do that I'm going to come to edit copy then paste so right now we have these two what I need to do is drag it a bit down good drag it a bit down and you can change the color to lemon you can change it to something like this so we have this now so I want this one to go behind the other shape so I will press shift and page down on my keyboard good so you see we have this other color behind this very shape but if you watch here we can see that this place is not aligning to the first shape so all I need to do is to click on this shape come to my shape 2 then drag it up 
to fit our shape. Good. So it's so simple designing a letter headed and a logo in Corridor. So I'll have to increase this by holding this. You can see these two edges here. It allows you to, to adjust the edges. This yep. Good. So I have my shape here my two shape so what i need to do is to, to grip the two shapes then bring it down um select these two shape click this sorry click this click this then group them by hitting ctrl g on your keyboard i have it grouped now so i am going to drag this down drag it down then let's click you can also copy and paste so i have it down what i need to do is to change i'm going to change the the flipping i'm going to flip it mirror horizontally so i have it mirror horizontally. i'll come here to flip it mirror vertically too i have it mirror flip so i'll drag it up to fit our workspace good bring it down good so we have this now now what we need to do is get the address and the phone number please dis disregard whatever information you see on this this is just for educative purpose and just for design purpose disregard whatever information so we are coming to copy this the address the phone number and the email address so we'll copy to take it to our corridor so i'll paste on our correct draw you can say okay then good so we have this address we are going to break this address we want to treat them independently i'll break it independently by hitting ctrl k on your keyboard so right now we have our address and our telephone and email address so what I need to do is break this here then I can come to this alignment and I'll be using the right alignment I'll bring it here then same here you can also draw a line to enable you get them on the same alignment this and also this good so what I need to do now, I will be changing the font size to Avant Guard. Avant Guard. Good, good. So to hit the R on your keyboard to align it right. So I'm going to bring this up to change it to Avant. Avant Guard. Good. We have this avant guard so we are going to change we'll be changing this have uh, this contact to red so we have this already i have this on pdf i have this icons the location icon the the phone icon and the email address icon so i have it on on pdf corridor allows you to bring in pdf on your design so what i need to do is go to our resource file copy the icon i'm going to copy the icon here then come to correct draw click on hit on paste to bring out this dialog box telling me yes there's yes, just hit on ok so good so i have my icons on it so i'm going to reduce it here we have the icon so i'm going to ungroup this it's already ungrouped now icons so i'm going to be creating a little, a little line just to add a little design you can pull down your controls to have a straight line so we're going to be leaving we're going to be changing the width of the line change the width of the line we can we're changing it to we can use 0.75 point it's okay this is fine so we can bring everything down 
good. So this is our letter header design. Let's bring this. Select everything. Bring it on side. Bring it to that side. So this is our logo. Now, if you watch, you will see a kind of gradient background on this. So we're going to be adding a gradient background. So what I need to do is double click on this right angle. When you double click, the right angle fits your working space. So um, we'll come to this interactive field tool, click on it, drag it here, boom. So what we need to do now is to change the color just like we did before. I'll click on this white here, come to this color here, change it to, we can bring something light, very light. I bring something light good so click on this black too we're going to be changing this black completely to white in order to make it visible in order to make the test and the logo visible so come to this place again change this to white good so now we can actually adjust our interactive field too you can also adjust to fit your design Boom. So this is a simple and a unique letter headed design. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe, share, comment and also click on the notification button. Thank you for watching and God bless you.